What do you say, Buana? T today was an adrenaline one, huh? Yes. We knew we were coming for Buffalo. We saw where the herd had passed and we tried looking for tracks. Then came up on this pool and saw these lone bulls, seven of them. Um, the grass was high. We almost had a shot at that wide one. I wasn't very sure with the middle, it looked a bit uh, soft. But when they started walking, you could just see how this one dropped. And this is, this is, this is, this is what you call buffalo. I mean, yes. it's got the character and all that. Yes. You dropped him with the first shot, you hit him again. He didn't have enough. He got up, he saw where we were. He charged us. I think one of his, one of his uh, shoulder was broken because the charge was a bit slow. Yeah. It gave us both to put a shot in him and dropped him. And you had to put him another shot, but uh, that's Buffalo, full of adrenaline. Good job. Peter, mm -hmm. you made my dream come true. Thank, Thank you. you very much. Thank I you. told you what I'm looking, something rare. Mm -hmm. I have a couple of them or mm -hmm. so, the mm -hmm. regular ones, mm -hmm. something unusual. Mm -hmm. I don't care if one was completely broke mm -hmm. up. I want something mm -hmm. different. Mm -hmm. You did it. Mm -hmm. Thank 100%. You. Thank, Thank you. you. Very welcome. Down here, this is his oven, his stove, uh, that's his dishwashing machine. Where you put it, wash it right here. That's where they wash the logs. Put the big log on it and it goes for a long time. Everything is done here, all the cooking. And it's a delicious. Here is my oats. They eat every morning. Right? Buona? That's my oats. Yes. Yes. All the good pots. 
I feel so nice. See all this. Right here, right here is our chef. And he makes the most delicious food. We all of us enjoying it. Every day we have different sweets. Every day we have a three, four different kinds of uh, dish. Wonderful. Could not ask for more. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. And here is the man who's ironing our clothes. My grand grandma. Let me have one. My grand grand grandma has this with embers. And I got one home as a souvenir, but they're still using it here. Thank you. Good shot against him going down. Good job. Thank you. Oh, what a beautiful animal. Check how he shapes. Beautiful. Goes out, comes in, goes out. Look at that beautiful. Fantastic. That is. That is beautiful. It'll be another full month. All right. <laughs>
collection. What a nice collection to your, to your collectors. To my trophy room. To your trophy room. Yes. I mean, uh, we wanted an Impala. We came in this little section that I wanted to show you that very open, always lots of game. As soon as you saw it, you called it the Serengeti. Yes. And this one kept running around. The very nice Impala is open, a little bit different to other Impalas. Other ones, many people want to shoot them wide. This one's going to score because he goes high, comes out, goes back inside, and then goes up. So very, very nice Impala you shot here. Beautiful. Mm -hmm. and, and good meat for the camp. Uh, yes. Well, thanks. Yes. Congratulations. Thank you. Another nice shot. Thank you, Peter. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, there he is. Mm -hmm. Shot him in the mouth. Yeah? Mm -hmm.
Yeah, you hit him. You hit him. Okay. Okay, reload. Fast, fast. Got him. <laughs> Good one. You saw the lipstick on his. Uh huh. <laughs> Thank you. Good shooting. This is wild Zambia. <laughs> <laughs> this is how much Peter know about all the species. <laughs> Patient. One, I got him. <laughs> What a morning. Uh, our main quest, quest, I mean, after you shooting the leopard so early, the two buffaloes, we thought we have all our time, so we wanted to take it easy on the hunt. Today's plan was just to get an impala, take a drive and go back to camp, but uh, we took the river road. Saw these three, three crocodiles on the side. We took a look at them and found this monster was there. I mean, we had already put a bait there, thinking that's where we we're going to shoot our crocodile, but that's Africa. You never know what's on the next corner. We come around and there he was. We took a stalk, you took, you, you took a shot on him the first time. The shot was just a little bit low, we hit him a little bit uh, down, but uh, that made him not swim too far. He, he tried to come up again to get some more air. Then you took an, another shot that fatally put him down. But this is what we're looking for. You told me you wanted a big crocodile. Yes. You got yourself a 14-foot crocodile. Congratulations, yes, Buana. Thank you. Good one, Thank good you. one, good one. I'm very pleased. I can't, mm -hmm. I can't tell you enough mm -hmm. how pleased I am with everybody, especially you, how you manage your hunters. Uh, this is a beautiful engine, mm -hmm. something that everybody mm -hmm. likes to see it. And I will have in full mount. No, that's a good one. Yeah. 
coming out from the water. You know, there is way to do it, and taxidermists will have some cosmetic work to do. And something I wanted to tell you as well, I know you've read lots of books about Africa. They say the hippo is one of the biggest killers to, uh, of, of, uh, that takes human lives. Yes. I've lived my whole life in Africa. This is the number this one. This is the one. Because this one will come for you. The hippo won't come for you. The hippo will only protect itself or the young yeah. or its way of defense. This one will come and want to eat you. So more people have been killed by a crocodile in Africa than any other animal. Thank you.
This is the buffalo we killed a couple days ago and I'm going to give to the people in the villages. So we're going to cut it up in pieces and then equal each family will get part of that meat. And that's what we try to do now. where they come and chat, chit chat, talking about, bragging about, complaining, <laughs> just regular, just like everybody else. Build all our mud, all natural products from the river. Don't get it, we've got two days. Mustard. Mustard is the pioneer of Mwanya game, game management area. He's one of the oldest trackers here. 
Age has caught up with him, so he's not participating in it uh, fully. But uh, from my apprentice time, which is 29 years ago, he was always yes. there. <laughs> this man knows the area better than anyone there is. We wish him many more years. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Happy day information. Uh. This is the room where they sold the hides, skulls, they prepare for shipment. So we'll go inside to see what they look like. There are buffalo skulls, hippo skulls. Here's the crocodile that I shot yesterday. Who is it? Is there? Where is the leopard? The leopard is here. Whose crocodile is that? The last buffalo. This is the zebra. The mpala. Here is the leopard. Good job they did on it. Real good job. Where is the buffalo skull? The buffalo skulls are in, under the sand. That's my puku yeah. skull. That's the jerky. They've dried out here. A good food, good protein. Yeah. So good protein. Let's go and see the skulls where they boil them. Yeah. And buffalo? The buffalo is out there in the sand, under down in the sand. Uh-huh. Oh, this is the Impala. Uh -huh, this is the Impala.
not in the top of the temple. And then if it's sideways, just in front of the ear. Just in front of the ear, between the eye and the ear. Just in front of the ear. 